Hey guys, Spider here, and uh, I just finished watching the Game Trailers TV coverage of Black Ops 2 on Spike TV, and I'm going to bring it to you here. First of all, they started off with a campaign. They showed a mission, the very first mission that is going to be played in the future time frame, 2025. It's called Monsoon. And I got to admit, the footage looked fantastic. And I came down a little bit on the uh, campaign footage that was shown on Jimmy Fallon months ago. And that was alpha stuff. That was alpha stuff. And there were a few things that, that I really didn't like. But this monsoon footage looked absolutely fantastic. And there are a lot of elements with the uh, the campaign. Or a couple elements that they brought up. So number one that I really liked. The elements that I really liked. Number one is that you can have sort of not the full create a class system in multiplayer for campaign. But there is a create a class system that is kind of similar to multiplayer that you can apply to campaign. And also they've incorporated challenges into the missions, challenges that you may not necessarily be, be able to complete on a single run through with a single weapon set or, or class set um, that you're going to have to go back and replay it, whether it's on a higher difficulty or whatever. There are going to be challenges associated with, with each mission in the campaign, which is fantastic. I mean, that's really going to help improve the re replayability of the campaign, which has always been an issue with some of these single-player games, not only COD, but, um, you know, we'd play it once, maybe on regular difficulty, and then we go back through and play it on veteran for your achievements or trophies or whatever, and that would be it. I mean, that's the end of the campaign, whereas here, they've really upped the bar, and I really like that aspect. It's fantastic that they've done that, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, so the multiplayer, and, well, the other thing that, sorry, just going back to the campaign and the challenges, I really, really hope that they have scoring that's involved with that. Scoring and leaderboards and I think uh, Medal of Honor in 2010 is a good example, I, th I believe, if I remember correctly, where you could actually score in the campaign. Either it was time-based or it was score-based, but I think really having leaderboards just for the campaign would be absolutely phenomenal and would even further increase the replayability value of the campaign. Okay, multiplayer. They actually stated on Game Trailers TV that uh, this was the first time that anybody, anywhere, or I can't remember exactly how they worded it. It was sort of implied that we've never seen this multiplayer map before, but we all know we have, or a lot of us know, we have seen multiplayer footage of Hijacked, which they, I mean, they didn't show very much. They showed a little bit of uh, the multiplayer gameplay on Hijacked, and um, what else? Really, the only thing that came out of the multiplayer was that there are more than 12 multiplayer maps that will ship with the game. So I'm calling I'm calling. there's going to be 13. So instead of a dozen, there's going to be a baker's dozen worth of multiplayer maps. I think they would have came out and said there are going to be 14 if it was 14. But he said more than 12. My guess is 13 multiplayer maps on release. And that was pretty much it with the multiplayer. Uh, on the zombie side... We saw maybe a few seconds of uh, someone looks like they were in single player uh, shooting at zombies and you just got the, saw the score counter go up, their ammo count go down. There wasn't much to it. The only thing they actually showed was the theater mode in zombies. And I don't even remember if it was previously announced, but it just makes sense to have a theater mode. I mean, they're using the multiplayer game engine. They've ported it from the campaign game engine, which is what they used in World at War and, Bl and the original Black Ops. But now that they're, they're using they're using the multiplayer engine, they have all those tools available um, from the regular multiplayer, which has you know theater has been there since Black Ops. So they could easily port that over to zombies. Now I'm not sure what the limitations are of that. I mean multiplayer, the map is. You know, the map is set. It's it's not this huge map, whereas in transit, I mean, it's a very, very seemingly an expansive world in, in transit. So um, I'm not sure if there are going to be limitations because of that, because if you have four players and you're each in sort of different locations, you have this huge map, you got to track the players and you have to track the zombies in order to create you know, this this theater recording or whatever uh, of that match. I'm not sure, again, if there are going to be limitations with that, but uh, we'll only have to wait and see, I guess, uh, once the game comes out. So that was about it. Uh, that's all I pretty much got out of it. I mean, there were a couple, probably a couple of other, other minor things that you know, I'm sure if I filtered through and, and went frame by frame on the footage, I'm sure I could find a couple other tidbits of information, but that's pretty much the bulk of it and wanted to bring that for you guys. Anyways, that's it. I'm Spider. I'm out.